Okay. What the heck am I doing? I am adjusting the tension of my tooth line because we have traditional folded sawbacks, all right? The plate, the sawback is sprung onto the spine of the saw plate. So sometimes when you, and this serves like a ski binding in a way, um, you, you wouldn't want to have your sawback permanently affixed to your plate any more than you would want skis permanently affixed to your boots. Something has to give when you're making an awkward cut or God forbid you kink your plate. So the reason saws are still alive on eBay today that were made well over a hundred years ago is because of this feature. The plate will slip out of tension and create a waiver along the tooth line before it kinks under duress. So in this manner, all right, if you find that you have a wavy plate, simply retension your saw plate with a mallet and, and then you'll find that it's zero straight again and make your cut. It's easier than adjusting a plane iron. And oh, by the way, we got these really cool mallets now that we're cross branding with Sterling Toolworks, one of my favorite tools here in the shop. All right, with the Bad Axe logo on it. A little partnership between Chris Keen and me here between our two companies. I, I love Chris's um, mallet, Sterling Toolworks, cross branded now with Brad Axe, Bad Axe.